evening guys and welcome back inside the RC Bombshells bunker. Tonight we're going to go over our RC Bombshells DR-10M build that we've got on our website. We call this one the baller. Lots of black, lots of blue, lots of carbon fiber and aluminum. Come on in, let's go over this thing. Going bumper to wheelie bar on this thing, we have thrown a couple of items on there that we found online that we liked. We're going to start with the Exotech front bumper right here that's got your GNS analyzer cut out for it. Slides in there nice and snug. We're going to also show you that we've changed out the turnbuckles for the RC Speed Secrets titanium textured black turnbuckles. We've added those throughout. And as you can see, these front wheels keep spinning and spinning. That's the RC Speed Secrets ceramic hybrid bearings throughout this car. Everything on it's going to run smooth, fast. If you're not running these bearings, you need to add them to every car you got. Now, we talked about the bleeder caps from J Concepts. Moving back here into the blue, we've got a Reedy servo that we've included with this car. We're not even charging for that. We had to cut out part of the bulkhead to accommodate that full-size servo. All your wiring is tucked in there nice and neat. Our designs has the extended chassis braces right here which allow you to manipulate your battery in a sideward position in both front and back. This is all adjustable. And these straps right here got some sort of neoprene sweatsuit stuff on here that really grip the battery well. Best battery strap I've ever seen. Carbon fiber ESC tray, extra large from our designs. Lots of real estate up there for holding down your electronics. And then when we get back into here, you're going to eyeball this weird thing. That is going to be the factory team lockout slipper clutch for the DR10. Now we factored this on here with the Octolock 87 tooth spur, three slipper discs in there, and this centrifugal clutch under acceleration, acceleration will expand. There's different rubber grommets right there to adjust and tune, and you can remove these M4 screws or just the nuts to get your weight balance just right. Moving back into the rear hubs, you'll notice we switched out for the factory team aluminum hubs. Those are going to give you some more tunability and adjustability. There's also some Exotech aluminum rear hexes buried inside these wheels. A lot of aluminum come factory from the associated on the DR10M. We got like the nice uh, C and, and D blocks with the adjustable pill set. So you can do the kick up and adjust your toe. We've changed out the rear ball mount back here for aluminum. And also the tranny mount underneath inside there is also in the anodized blue aluminum. Now when it comes to wheelie bars, this is not your factory stock wheelie bar. Associated comes out with a thinner, weirder setup. Our designs fix that with these spacers right here, which are going to bring this out to the natural Traxxas width standard wheelie bar width. So we've got our flat our design wheelie bar on here, one of our favorites, really fits this build quite nicely. We've included a ProTech 30 by 30 aluminum fan. Looks really nice in the black and the blue. And we've outfitted this thing with some proper wheels. We've got the R design two piece billet aluminum machine face and the Delrin ring wheels right here. We've got the Reaction Ultra Blues on here, vented and balanced. And this thing is really quite the setup. Now, all these items that we've described, they price this car way above the standard $370 box price. You'll see it all itemized and discounted on our website for one lucky guy. We hope you guys enjoyed this video and keep watching. Thanks so much.